Well, hey guys, my little one's in the background. It's always mom life. My name is Mandy and welcome to Sweetly Home. Today I'm participating in a collab put on by Jennifer from The Family Fudge. This is just such a fun collab and I'm really excited to participate in it because I think it's the type of thing that's just gonna give people some really good information. So the idea behind this is that we are going to share our five things that we always buy from Costco and the one thing that we tend to avoid. There will be a link down in the description box below for other channels who are participating in this club, as well as a link to Jennifer's channel. Jennifer is super great. She is a homeschooling mom. She has four little ones. She's got lots of really great content on her channel. She has recipes and Costco hauls and all kinds of homeschool goodness. She's a wonderful mama and I think you're gonna really enjoy her channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So one thing that we always buy at Costco is our oils. Our coconut oil, olive oil, and avocado oil. Here is the coconut oil that we use. And I love it because it's virgin coconut oil, it's also organic, and it comes at a really, really great price. We use coconut oil for everything. We even give it to our dogs for healthy teeth and healthy coats. And this stuff lasts us forever. I use it as an eye makeup remover. We use it to swish our teeth with, to cook with, all kinds of things, skin, just everything. So we love that we can get this product at a really affordable price. I think I actually picked this up for $20. And I think it's went up in price, but because we've had it for so long, $20 spread over a period of months is all good. We also love to get our avocado oil there. Avocado oil, the particular brand that we get, has a really high smoke point. So I use it for popping popcorn, for sauteing, all kinds of things, and it's really good. We also get our olive oil there, and again, with the olive oil, it's extra virgin olive oil. It's organic, and it's delicious, and I get a huge vat of it for a really affordable price versus purchasing it in smaller bottles for just a few dollars cheaper, so I'm getting more of a value at Costco. The second thing that I buy at Costco is makeup removing wipes. So I mentioned that I use coconut oil to take off my mascara, all of my eye makeup. It just takes it away really quickly and easily. But I use the makeup wipes to take off the rest of my makeup. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It's kind of a lazy girl hack, but I always take my makeup off, and here's how I do it. I actually take my makeup off in my bed when I'm feeling really lazy. I keep makeup removing wipes right next to my bed, and I just use them to take off all my makeup. I put on my moisturizer, slide into my sheets, and drift off to sleep. I hear stories about people who, you know, leave their makeup on all night because they were too tired to take it off, but lazy me lays right in bed and does it <laughs> right there. Um, I used to use the Pond's um, makeup removing wipes. I tended to really break out with other makeup removing wipes. And we're not talking about like breaking out on my skin, but I would get sort of like an eye infection. Um, my eyelids would get red and inflamed and itchy and really not good. And the Pond's wipes were the only ones that I used that would not give me that reaction. So I was a little hesitant to spend the money on the Kirkland brand wipes. However, they are golden and I love them. They're so very gentle. They take all of the makeup off and leaves my skin feeling nice and clean at the end of the day. I believe you get 150 wipes in a package and the Pond's wipes that I was getting were you get 30 wipes and they were coming up to be around $7.99 before tax. Yikes. And that's, I kind of stopped using them because the price was getting to be too much. So when I tried the Kirkland Brand wipes, they were about $15 for 150 wipes. They come in different packages of 30 and 15. So you have like smaller packs that you can throw in your purse or to take when you're traveling. And then you have a larger, more economical sort of monthly pack that you can, can use. And I love them. The third thing that we love and always get at Costco are our paper products. And by paper products, I mean our paper towels and our toilet paper. Several years ago, I was huge into reading Consumer Reports magazine. There's another little 
funny fact about me. I love Consumer Reports. And there was an article in the Consumer Reports comparing different brands of paper towels. And the Kirkland brand paper towels ranked, I'm pretty certain it was number one, it may have been number two. This was like many years ago that I read this article. So it's either number one or number two. And hey, I am happy to throw my money at a product that's really affordable for that little of a price. The paper towel rolls here in Canada break down to be less than a dollar a roll. And I have no problem paying that. These rolls last forever. We can buy a pack and they last us about three months. And we have um, a kennel of dogs. We raise competition hunting dogs and dogs can be messy. I've got a toddler. Life can be really messy around here and so I really like to have paper towels on hand. I don't mind using cleaning cloths that I can throw in the washing machine. I do use those quite a bit actually within my household cleaning but for those really gunky yucky messes I prefer to have a paper towel. And the Kirkland brand are strong, they're really absorbent, and they last forever. The same thing with the toilet paper. It is an amazing deal. It is really great. It lasts forever and I don't know. It's just really good and we prefer to buy the Kirkland brand toilet paper over any other brand that we can get at the grocery store. This next product is kind of a funny one but it's something that we love 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 and um we have stopped buying this product at regular grocery stores because nothing really compares and that is the kirkland brand maple bacon seriously it is so good if you are a bacon eater yeah, I can't go wrong with this product. I am telling you, it's a thick cut, so you only need a couple pieces to really be very, very satisfying. It has a hint of maple flavor. It just, oh my goodness. I feel like my mouth is watering talking about it. We've had bacon at a restaurant, like if we go for brunch or we've eaten it at other people's houses. And if they don't have the Kirkland brand bacon, it almost seems kind of puny and pathetic because it's so small and I don't know. If you're a bacon eater, I'm just telling you, it's just, it'll blow your mind. It's so good. It's worth it. It's so good. I will say that it's probably not more economical than buying bacon at the grocery store. However, it's 10 times better. And I would rather pay the money for a better quality product than to spend for cheaper on something that's not as good, in my opinion. And the fifth product that I buy at Costco and nowhere else is our cling wrap. Yes, cling wrap. I bought this box well over a year ago and friends, it is still going strong. There are 750 square feet in this package. I have no idea how much we paid for it. Not that much, I'm sure. And it's just going and going and going and going. And I will show you, we still have a lot more to go. ended up buying another box of this because I thought oh surely we're gonna run out of this at some point and oh no my friends it is still in my overflow pantry products area it's just going and going and going I don't know when I'm gonna need another box of these because I've got the other one I mean I probably will not buy cling wrap for another few years it is just crazy now one thing that may keep us from needing more these boxes or keeps us from using too much of it is that when we store our leftovers we actually store them in reusable glass containers so I am not covering a lot of bowls with cling wrap um, and we use a lot of reusable containers when my husband and my daughter pack their lunches for um, work and school so we're not going through this like super crazy however this has lasted us longer than a year and we've still got a ton more to go. I'll throw in a bonus product for you really quick because kind of along that same lines of a product lasting for longer than a year and that is coffee filters. Mama loves her coffee. In fact, I have a cup waiting for me right off camera that I can't wait to drink because I love it and we make a pot every single day. 
So we go through our coffee filters. A while ago, I had bought a pack of coffee filters. It was a desperate situation. I was clean out of them. We were in the midst of a snowstorm and I wasn't about to stop at another store because it was just too dangerous out and whatever. So I bought coffee filters at our local drugstore and they were $5 for 30. I bought, when those ran out, I bought a pack of coffee filters at Costco and there were 600 coffee filters in this pack for seven dollars i did the math and we are going to have these coffee filters for a year and a half if we do a pot a day just crazy 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 talk so here's the one thing that i sort of try to avoid buying at costco and it's not that you i'm sure you can find good deals on these things but it just doesn't work so much for me and that is my toiletry products things like shampoo conditioner body wash razors, shaving cream, toothpaste, that kind of stuff. I am a very frugal kind of shopper and I really like to get the most bang for my buck when I can. And I tend to prefer to buy those type of toiletry products when they are around one or two dollars depending on the product itself. itself. Of course, some things will be a bit more and some things may be less. However, my buy price is very low on these items. I know that at Costco you can get giant vats of shampoo and conditioner and body wash. I'm just, I tend to prefer to kind of switch those things up. Usually a bottle of shampoo will last me about a month. And after that month's up, I like to try a different product just to keep my hair kind of, I don't know, on its guessing game or something. I don't know. But I don't like to get into too big of a rut with a lot of those products and I can feel that the large volume of product that you get at Costco, you just have it for so long. And the thing with body wash is that I also don't want a gigundous bottle of body wash that I'm trying to squirt out onto my loofah puff while I'm in the shower. Um, it's just cumbersome and doesn't fit in my, my little hands. So I prefer to just buy those things at Walmart or a place where I can get them at a really, really good price. So there you have it, the five things that we always buy at Costco and the one thing I tend to avoid most of the time. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I would love to know what you're buying at Costco. Like I said, we're there every month and I like to try new products. I'd love to hear recommendations. So let me know what you're buying and I'd also like to know what you avoid there as well. Make sure that you check out the description box down below for the links to the other channels. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.